What's up, y'all? The best way to know if you or a man in your circle is select. The best way. And real quick, I was supposed to be doing some promoting uh, uh, Mac lessons with me and Pimp God, but um, I was driving on my way down there and one of my tires started losing air. So I, I had to actually get a new tire, but I have to pay any, I didn't have to pay anything for it. Uh, it was still under warranty. It, was some, it must have been like a, some manufacturing defect because I just got the tires. It had to like replace the whole thing. So that kind of threw everything off. So we just had to postpone it. So, yeah, it is what it is. Stuff happens. Life lesson. Always be prepared. You buy something, get the warranty, insurance, whatever you got on it, all right? Because you never know. Shit just happens. And anything can have a manufacturing defect. So, it is what it is. I'm safe. It wasn't a problem. It was a slow leak. But, still. I was like, Ugh, let me get this shit fixed or, re or replaced. So, anyway, right? Show goes on. Because I know y'all be at 12 o'clock looking for something. It ain't gonna be a car video. Because I got, uh... I, I gotta get a therapeutic massage. I always get a therapeutic massage once a month. That's something else, too. If you can afford it, get a therapeutic massage. Therapeutic. Not a happy ending massage. Get your girl for that, if you got one. But a therapeutic massage. Just And that's just for pure health reasons. Pure health reasons. Because a lot of times, people are carrying stress and everything. So, that's later today. So, I say, but let me give y'all something. But the best way to know if you or... Someone you know is select is when how the women in a particular social circle respond to you or the other person. Cause see, I'm gonna tell you an issue I got. An issue I got. Cause I already told you about the issue of somebody's calling themselves non-select, right? And then they uh, you know, think that's it. They don't think in terms of moving up. But uh, something else I hadn't really talked about, because hey, you get some guys, every now and then you get somebody like, yeah, I'm select, or they try to like redefine it and everything, trying to redefine being select, uh, you know, to the person who introduced it to this space, the whole concept to this space. And it was only, it was only me and uh, Master Yao Yama J. Morris even using those terms. Nobody else was using it before us. And we were like went back and forth adding to it. It's a def it's a definite criteria. Definite criteria. But a lot of dudes be thinking, yeah, I'm select. In fact, what you got is a lot of men who know they non-select deep down, but on the surface act like they select. Like, I'm a player, I'm a player. Like I remember. I remember I was at this uh I was at this thing. It was uh it was at a fashion show. I was doing some uh, vending at. It was there with my girlfriend, right? So she was helping out. And there was this dude calling himself a pimp. Yeah, I'm a pimp. Yeah, I'm a player and everything. And I remember she stepped away from me for, uh, for a second, tried to get something. And then she came back to me and said, yeah, dude, tried to holler at me. I was like, damn, dude, there ain't no play. There ain't no play. You saw she was with me, you know? But I was like, all right. She had to put him in his place. And I was reading everything. That dude kind of kept his distance after that. So I was like, I, right, I. Right. So check it out, right? Check it out. The best way to know, though, put that person, or for you to know, if you're going, first of all, you got to be honest. In any situation, whether it's on the job, you know, if you on that office fuck file, shout out Cousin t -tall. Or if you, in any environment where there's a bunch of women, you know, any social circle, how are the women treating you? How are they responding to you? Because if you select, you chosen as select by the women. Women choose, that's the female selection criteria. You can think, you can think whatever about yourself, but are the women responding to you in that way? Like if somebody, if like, if you ever like, 
Like, I know some people, they get caught up in what they see on social media and everything, but I, I, that's that's not a good way. Anybody can take a picture. Anybody. That don't mean shit. That don't mean shit. People get too caught up in that. Or they can tell you. Or you know what? You can even see them around in the real world with a girlfriend. And remember, she he still might not be select to her. You don't know. I mean, you can get an idea. He might, she, he might not be select to her, but at the same time, he could be. See, with that, you got to look at him closely. What's their body language? How close? How's she looking at him? How's she looking at him? Is she walking in front of him? Seriously, pay attention. Are they walking like they need a hotel room? Or are they walking like they could be brother and sister? That whole body language. What's the distance between them and everything? Right. And that's only if they with them. But, yeah, the best way, if you per, put somebody, put a man, either you'll, uh, well, people are always lying to themselves. Let's put it like this. If somebody tells you, yeah, I'm a player, I'm a player, you know, I get all the ladies. Just just nod your head at first because you don't know it at first. Put them in an environment or observe them when they're in an environment where there's a bunch of ladies. And how the women are responding to them. Even in a situation where you have a dude trying to talk to all the women. They might not give him any play. I've seen that plenty of times. Like in a club especially. You get a guy trying to holler at all the women. They like, mm. you know, they rejecting him and stuff. They ain't select. They ain't select at all. See, a select man, you put him, whether it's on the job, whether it's at some place like a gym, someplace. Shoot, it could be walking through a grocery store. Which which guy is all the women paying attention to? They looking, because women are always looking. They are selecting. That's how you know. Like, if you got somebody in your crew, yeah, I'm a player, I'm a player. I say, all right, yeah, why don't we hang out at this place? Sit there, get your drink, sit back, chill. Don't even pay attention to who he talking to. Or going for like he making the approach. Pay attention. How many women sitting back checking on him? Seriously, and all you have to do is just sit back. How many women checking him out? I told that one story, famous story. It's one of my favorites. You know, it was at Zanzibar, uh, the Zanzibar Club when it was uh, near the White House, a few blocks down from the White House back in the day. Had this one guy. I'm gonna call him. Um, I'm gonna call him Ricardo. Yeah, he had a Spanish name. I think he's Afro-Latino. He, all he would do was stand in the floor. All the women were gravitating towards him. <laughs> it's like, he was just sitting back chilling. That's the thing. That's how you got to look at it. Who they chilling with? Who they, who they looking at? Who they talking about? I've been on jobs. I've been on jobs and the women be like, yeah, everybody checking him out. Everybody checking them out, you know? I was even on a job. I never forget this one job. I was on. It was a whole bunch of women. It was a big project. It had, it had some fellas there, but like a whole bunch of women. And I remember this woman, and because um, it was a project, and I was moved to a more specific project, right? I was moved to a more specific project, and then one of the women from over there said, "You should be arrested." I was like, "For what? Breaking hearts? Well, breaking? What, what are you talking about?" She's like, you ain't know about five women over there wanted you? Mm -hmm. I had a girlfriend at the time, so I was like, mm, no, nah, I wasn't really, I honestly wasn't paying attention. I honestly wasn't paying attention. And that's another thing, too. Whether it's a job, social circle, who they trying to get at? Who they trying to get at? Who they trying to talk to? If you had a gym or something, which, which guy that all the women got to say something to? That's how you know how the women respond, how the women respond in the real world. Like I said, social media, you got to take that with a grain of salt. You got to take that with a grain of salt because some dudes be straight up paying. And women like taking pictures anyway. They'll take a picture with somebody and dude ain't seeing no part of the pussy. They ain't thinking much about them and everything. And even then, watch how the picture is taken, body language and all of that. So you got to pay attention to a lot of stuff. But what does a group want? You got to put them in fine. Just, well, figure out the group setting. 
Seriously, that's the best way. How are the women responding? What are they saying? You know, if you're in position to pay attention, who they looking at? Because they always looking. I peeped that back in the third grade. Peeped that back in the third grade. I remember. That was in the 70s. That's when, you know, the fellas had, well, they got, some got afros now, but that's when afros were big. I remember we had this male teacher. Uh, substitute teacher come in and the little girls were talking about me like he was so fine he was so cute yeah but then he opened his mouth they pissed off at him by the end of the day but but they were checking him out because women always looking women looking and trust me when they in their groups they talking about it you know like I said when cousin T talk, talked about the office fuck file as soon as a guy go in the office they gonna be talking about him this retail job I worked on, this dude came in. And I heard the women saying, oh, yeah, he can get it. And I know I know for sure he got with two of them. I know he got with two of them. You know? And shit, one was supposedly a lesbian. <laughs> oh, man. I got to see if I can catch up with him. But that's the thing, though. That's the thing. That's how you really know. That's how you know how the women. Not what somebody say. Anybody say anything? A lot of guys lie. A lot of guys cap it. I'm gonna be real. I'm just gonna call this shit out. I can already tell, even in my comments, somebody capping. But I let shit go. I let shit go because I'm like, you know, I don't have time to try to bust that person out. I really don't. If they say it, okay, cool. But that's how you know in your circle. Like, if you get, like, I'm sure some of y'all came across some dude, like, yeah, hey, I'm a play, I'm a play it. But then as soon as they're around some women, you know, they, they ain't even talk to them, approach them. I'm like, acting scared. Acting scared. Oh, here's a bonus. If you get a guy always talking trash about women, always talking trash. Like, not just like every now and then, but like, they got nothing but negative shit to say. Nonsalate. Nonsalate. Mm. Stomach growling, but I'm recording this. It ain't even 6 o'clock in the morning. Because like I said, I got to get that therapeutic massage. So anyway, though, that's all I got for now, y'all. Got to get out, go to the gym. It's arm day, y'all. Firepower. So, yeah, it's arm day. Love it. Two, hey, the two-piece... With mambo sauce and a soda. So this is like quadruple set. <laughs> oh, man. So anyway, y'all. I got That's all I got for today. I'll get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.